All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at uh, this really cool uh, feature known as Smart Art in MS Word. And um, it's really good for students when they're trying to use graphic organizers and things like that. Um, and if you want to do any kind of compare and contrast stuff. So it's a little bit different than charts. Um, so what you got to do in order to do this is you go to your insert uh, tab up here. So your ribbon up here. And then right above chart is this is a section called Smart Art. And um, this is really good if you wanted to create any kind of graphic to visually communicate information. So if I click on this, it gives me a whole uh, uh, spectrum of different styles of um, uh, graphic organizers that are prefabricated for us to use. So let's just uh, do a simple one here. Um, say we wanted to compare uh, the hierarchy of uh, Middle Ages versus the hierarchy of a of school. So if we just select this pyramid here, and we can put that in, and then what we can do is we can um, uh, just simply type in uh, uh, principal, and then we want to go down. We click in the next box, and you have um, teachers, and then down here you have students. Okay, now we've clicked in all that, and what we can do is we can actually uh, change the colors of certain sections. So if we want to, we can just put in different color color schemes so that we can see it visually, which is kind of cool. Um, the other thing we can do too is say, oh, you know what we didn't put in there? We didn't put anything to do with support staff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one here, and I'm going to add a shape, and I'm going to add a shape below. Uh, so, oh, that didn't work out too well. Let me just fix that. Okay, so what we do is we select this section and then we just go up to where it says add shape and we click on the button and it's added an extra section below us and we can just simply type in there, say support staff and then we have students. Now, what we can say is say, okay, well, this isn't a, an accurate portrayal digitally. So what we can do is we can actually uh, click on a section and we can drag it and we can make that section larger and we can make other sections smaller just simply by clicking on the section. And now this gives us a more accurate representation as to how many people are actually involved and at what point uh, obviously the students in this case take up the biggest portion of the population. So this is a really cool function that you can do and as you can see uh, if you click out of here say you want to do something in science um, you can do things that uh, include um, process cycle so let's say you wanted to do something to do with the water cycle you could just type that in there and you can have the students actually type in the information so they have an actual process as to how it would go about anyway it's a pretty cool thing that you can work with and uh, play around with it and uh, have your students um, showing it so that they can figure out how they're going to best integrate that into their projects